Hi guys, it's Unbidden Pro or Ed, and today we're going to be talking about Halo Infinite's multiplayer. I've gone back and played all of the Halo's multiplayer to come up with a list of features, guns, vehicles I'd like to see a return in Halo Infinite. Starting off where I began my Halo career, Halo 3. Whether it's using vehicles like the chopper to crush Warthog, driving the elephant and trying to flip it in multiplayer, or using the brute shot to get into space and keep on the go. Halo 3 multiplayer had a lot of amazing memories for me. Halo 3's multiplayer maps always had something different about them, allowing you to come up with different strategies to get the opponents to give your team the win. From hiding on the pipes or on rat's nest to protect your flag or bomb site. To open the gate on high ground or last resort allowing your team vehicles inside the base. The maps could be interacted with, wildlife could be shot and guardian, the flood pods could be popped on isolated. You could get shot by the turrets or snowbound for daring to leave the map. You could even drive around the outskirts of sand trap, the threat of being blown up adding depth to the multiplayer. In later Halo games I feel this character is absent, with maps feeling safer and safer to appeal to a wider audience. For vehicles, just bring back the chopper. Need I say more? It is a community favour and look at the thing. Are you telling me a 4K version of this thing would not be a thing of beauty? Multiplayer wise I feel it's more balanced than the ghost, having a wider turn in circle and only having a short boat speed you really have to pick and choose when you use it. Where would we be without guns in a first person shooter? 343 went mad with this in Halo 5, introducing variants of every weapon in the game, force feeding it through loot boxes. What I would like is the Brute's Armoury to at least return to Forge, and let the community play around with it in custom games. As I said in the intro, the Brute Shot was not only used as a weapon, but as a tool to propel yourself into spots onto the map, like I've done here on Construct. Halo Reach, and I will be brushing over armor customization because it's already been stated that this level of customization will be returning in Halo Infinite. However, one thing that I would like to touch upon would be the armor effects available in Halo Infinite. Would you like to see the return of the flaming legendary helmet, Grunt's birthday party, heart attack, excellence, or inclement weather? Or is there something else that you guys like to see? Put it in the comment section below. As for the actual multiplayer of Halo Reach, it did a lot of things right. Receiving a lot of hype because of the beta, which at the time was the most played beta on cons, giving us a taste of what to expect and allowing the community to give feedback. This feedback resulted in grenades getting a small nerf before release. My only issue with the multiplayer is due to lack of maps, Spire and Boneyard were both retrofitted to play as normal Slayer maps when they were created for invasion. 343, please bring back Invasion. I'm sure we all miss our elite brothers in arms. Invasion was a great game mode, but seriously lacked maps. If 343 were to bring this game type back, I'd love to see three standard maps that create these in such a way that we could have different objectives, so we're not always fighting to complete the same objectives on the same maps over and over and over again. Reach introduced armor abilities and they've been further explored in Halo 4 and 5. While some abilities have been used more than others, they have kept a fairly decent balance in multiplayer. I feel Sprint should be kept as a passive ability. Personally, I'd like to see Ground Pound and Frosters not make a return, as I feel that they can overcomplicate the experience of multiplayer. DLC. And I feel Bungie got this one bang on the money. Interesting, beautiful maps for DLC, and community creations keeping the interest there. This is where I feel 343 have let the side down. Really releasing community maps, which is great, but that means we miss out on beautiful set pieces in maps, which we have experience from Bungie. Halo 4, probably the most controversial multiplayer to date. Creating loadouts, which you can, for the first time, change your guns and the Halo in-game perks. Personally, I really liked Halo 4 multiplayer. Fast, rewards good players with drops, a 
and allows them to get the advantage over the players that they are beating. I really like the abilities in this Halo as well. Promethean Vision was sure the most overpowered thing, allowing you to see players behind walls. The Hard Light Shield was an interesting concept, a mixture of Armor Lock and a Riot Shield. We used to deflect shots without locking them down into one place. The Regeneration Shield, great for objective matches, being able to support your teammates to regain their health. I would really like a version of these abilities in Halo Infinite. Personally, I would love for this kind of multiplayer style to return to Halo Infinite. I feel it gives greater choice to the player, be more casual or more competitive. It allows you to define your playstyle. Halo 5, I don't really know where to start with this Halo. The online is okay and I don't really have any issues with the maps or the multiplayer itself. Personally, I feel the shield takes a little bit too long to regen, but overall, this Halo campaign included was just meh. So, in conclusion, my ideal multiplayer would bring back brute weapons and get rid of most of the pointless variants in Halo 5, bring back invasion and make it better than ever, have sprint standard, and possibly bring back some of the armor abilities from Halo 4 and 5, just to update them a little bit. Remember, these are just my opinions. If you feel different, please in the comment section say about what you would prefer. And subscribe and like the video if you want more videos. Alright guys, love you all. Peace.